Debbie Catlett is here from the Hannibal Nutrition Center. Debbie, good morning. Good morning, Harold. Yes, uh, Debbie has come in to, to brighten our day <laughs> and, to, uh, and to pass along some information. Uh, you've got uh, some good stuff coming up in the not-too-distant future. We do. We're really excited about it. We're having our sixth annual golf outing at the beautiful Hannibal Country Club on September 15th, Monday, September 15th. A month, a month from Friday. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. So the so the so fill us in on uh, what the folks need to know about uh, getting involved in that. Well, we're really excited. It's a four person scramble, and we've done this. Like I said, this is our sixth year. It's sponsored with Steve Carroll, um, a former state legislator that's on our board, um, and. Uh, so he came up with this idea, and it's just uh, over the five years that we've done it so far, he's raised over $40,000 for Meals on Wheels through this golf outing. Um, and so we're really excited to do this another year. We have openings for the four-person teams, and it's going to be 11 o'clock shotgun start with light lunch served on the course at noon. So we won't hold them up, and they'll have food on the golf course. But that night, of course, we'll have a really nice barbecue, and beverages will be free-flowing all day. Aha. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> so, well, you got to, hydration is important. You, you must stay properly hydrated. Exactly. By whatever means that you feel best to stay hydrated. Exactly. Yeah. And one of the beautiful things about this is, is having it in September. We've always had beautiful weather. We're hoping for a beautiful day again uh, this year, but it's always such a pretty fall day. And it's one of the last golf tournaments of the year. So it's really nice to get into. It's on a Monday. It's on a work day. So you get out of work if you do it. Sure. And um, this year special for us, uh, Jason Pogue from Pogue Chevy uh, Buick Auto Center. He is also on our board and is going, he bought the insurance for us for a hole in one. Ah. So if you get the hole in one, you could win a new car. Ooh. Yeah, I think that'll really be fun. I hope somebody wins. That would be great. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, so, so turnout uh, response has been good in years past for this? We've always had a lot of teams, uh, full teams. We can take up to 18 teams. We've had, um, it's $400 a team to get in, and that includes everything, including your cart, um, your lunch, your barbecue dinner, your beverages, everything. And then along with that, we have, uh, Prizes for mulligans, raffles, 50-50 drawing, longest drive, closest to the pin. And then we also offer patio sponsorship. If you can't come and golf that day for $250, you can do a patio sponsorship, have your uh, business name uh, prominently displayed on the patio there we're going to be eating. Or if you want to do a whole sponsorship, that's $100 per whole sponsorship. Ah, So there are opportunities for folks who uh, maybe for one reason or another can't actually be in the tournament yes so if you can't get off work that day you can still help meals on wheels and we'd love to have additional sponsors for that we've always had a really good turnout for that too we've always had a lot of wonderful hannibal businesses that have sponsored us for that yeah yeah they yeah the 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 hannibal community uh whether it's a business community or uh i mean just the community steps up when the need's there they do they have especially for the nutrition center um someone said to me the other day i don't think people realize the scope of meals that you put out every day and uh last year was over a quarter of a million meals Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of meals going out every day, 350 to 400 home deliveries every day. And then we do a lot of other programs um, that we have state contracts with, three meals a day, 365 days a year that we do. So we're working all the time to keep places, to keep our place going and in doing so to keep other places going and help other people get good nutrition. Yeah. Cause I don't know that people realize that. I mean, of course they know about the meals that you serve yes. at the nutrition center uh, during the week and they know about, uh, of course they, they don't know about meals on wheels. They obviously haven't been listening here. <laughs> we've talked a lot about that. Uh, but uh, as you say that that's, it doesn't even end there, does it? No, it doesn't. We keep going on with um, anything that we can do to keep going. Um, you know, we, every year we have the good annual fish fry to help raise funds to keep meals going. Um, and and what we have to do, Harold, is to continue to raise funds because as funding from the state and federal level continue to uh, drop out, um, we have a lot of poor people who can't contribute for their meals or can contribute very little for their meals that we home deliver. So we have to fundraise constantly to help keep food in their cupboards and on their plate in their home. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, yeah, that, well, that we could, we could get into a whole nother discussion yes. on that about all of the, the funding at one, at a number of years ago uh, <laughs> flowed in 
to programs like this, but yes. as they've had to finally, uh, you know, face budget realities, then uh, you guys wind up on the short end of that. We, it always seems that to me, and of course I work in senior issues, so I really notice it, but um, senior issues has taken some big hits in the last few years um, and it continues to do so. So uh, if programs are to remain um, in effect, we have to continue to, to work for them as a community to keep them going. Yeah. And, uh, as, and as far, as far as the meals on wheels, as we say, especially over the winter time, we talked, we talked a lot, a, a lot about that, yes. uh, as, as far as that's concerned. And, but, and, and as you alluded to, you know, uh, people don't realize, I don't, I don't think how many meals you guys you know, deliver, you guys are out and about every day. Yes, we are between 350 and 400 meals a day just to the homebound senior citizens. So, and we're going, you know, all over the county. We're going um, down to, we go down to the Rensselaer area, the New London area, halfway to center. I mean, there's a lot of areas that we're going to rural areas. We might just be trying to keep one person in their home uh, and try to keep them from being put into a nursing home prematurely just because they can't cook for themselves anymore. So there's a lot goes into it. And then we also are checking on them on a daily basis to be sure that they're okay. If something's wrong, if their speech is slurred, sometimes they've fallen, um, and sometimes they've passed away in the night. Uh, if somebody needs to know that and needs to know it right away. So those are some other things that we do is that contact, a daily contact for them besides their meal service. Yeah, it's not just about uh, you know, leaving the styrofoam container at the door and, and knocking on the door and driving away. That's, That's right. We have to have, by law, we have to have daily contact with anybody we leave a meal with. So we, we take that very seriously. If they're not there, we're starting to call the family and to be sure that, you know, if maybe they've gone to the doctor or something and just didn't call it in. But that's the good news is if that's what's wrong with them. But uh, otherwise, we just start finding out if they're in their home and down. So our daily contact, we take very seriously. And, 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 that, and that's something else. Uh, a lot of the, the, the smaller communities that have meals on wheels, uh, as far as the, the drivers and uh, the people that deliver them are concerned, uh, a lot of that is volunteer. Uh, but the scope of what yes. you do, yeah, that's, you know, we, speaking of expense that you guys have to incur, you can't, you can't get by with volunteer help. No, we can't, Harold. It would be lovely if we could, but if you're living in Hannibal in the wintertime and you see the hills and the snow and the ice, uh, volunteers, some will go out in that, but you have to have someone that's really dedicated to that. And, and, and I have to pay some employees for that. Uh, we have about 60% of ours is staff and 40% is volunteer. And uh, we count on our staff. We have the greatest people in the world that uh, deliver meals and are consistent in the weather, no matter what it is, that go out every single day to check on their people. And they take that seriously, just like an extension of their family. So that is another expense we have. But when you have a program that big, um, I would have to have a full-time volunteer coordinator uh, to to be able to take care of enough people to get enough people and uh, and still get all those meals out, especially in bad weather. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, speaking, we, we talked a moment ago about stepping up. And, of course, uh, last winter uh, you had, uh, uh, well, you had uh, this, this, some of the city city guys step up for you. In the winter. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what we would have done without uh, <laughs> the Board of Public Works and uh, the City uh, Street Department because wherever we had a problem, they were there to help us. And, uh, they you know, and they do that for all the citizens of Hannibal. They try to help. And so I just can't say enough good things uh, about, you know, Mayor Hark. And, uh, of course, he is my board chairman, but just the ability uh, that they have given their departments to try to help our citizens when they're in need is just amazing. So, you know, I applaud Jeff Lagarza and Mayor Hark for uh, having the foresight to let the departments help people when they're in need. Once again, uh, pass along the particulars on the golf tournament, uh, the when and the where and the how fo folks can get involved. Well, it's the Steve Carroll Invitational. It's the Hannibal Nutrition Center's sixth annual golf outing. Four-person scramble. It's going to happen on Monday, September 15th at uh, 11 o'clock with a shotgun start. And we really appreciate it. And don't forget, you have a chance for that hole-in-one to win a new car from Jason Pogue. Uh, so we just wish people would get involved with this, make it a... Steve would love to see this, the most successful golf tournament he's ever had. If you have any questions, you can call me, Debbie Catlett, at 221-4488. That is the number to call to find out uh, what's going on about the uh, fundraising golf tournament and all of the goings-on at the Hannibal Nutrition Center. Debbie Catlett, we all appreciate it. Thank you, Harold.